Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I was away for a little bit, uh, and while I was away, I decided to do some shopping because you blew up my Timu wig review and you wanted to see more. People told me there's so many new people here and I wanna give the people what they want. So, I bought some new hair from Timu. Like, a lot of hair from Timu. But if you guys don't know, I'm a Timu affiliate. I love shopping on Timu because it's affordable. It helps me get wigs to create looks for you guys without breaking the bank because wigs can be super expensive. Everything is expensive right now. Uh, and Timu functions as a marketplace that you can find quality products at a much cheaper price. So we're gonna talk about them today. Um, but like I said, I am a Timu affiliate. So if you guys see anything you like, there will be my code here and the link. You guys can use that. I do make a little bit of money. I mean, a very small amount of money off of every order using my code. But don't feel like you have to use it unless you want to save money. Just like last time, I did get some wigs. I got a bunch of different colors. Um, but I did change it up this time. I got some braiding hair, which I've never used before. And I got some different extensions. So I think that's what we're going to start with. So as you guys can see, since the last time I did a wig review, my natural hair is very different. So I decided that I was going to try one of these extensions that has the wire headband. Now here is the piece. Nice and thick and long and straight. Have my brush here. And I would say color wise, this is a pretty decent match. Now I have day like two hair right now. This is not freshly washed, which tends to look better with my extensions. So we're gonna put it in, see what it looks like. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect because my hair isn't flat ironed and this is obviously very, very straight, but we'll give it a go. So you're supposed to pull this down and then put your hair on top and then pull this right behind your ears like a headband and pull the hair out from underneath. Probably doing this wrong. Just so you know. I am not a hair girly. That's why I like my wigs because it saves me the time and hassle. So it's in there. I don't think you can really see the band. Now as I fiddle with my hair and brush it and stuff, it's gonna get more covered. Okay, color wise, I mean, I think we're doing pretty good here. Now I do have pretty thin hair. So regardless of what the wire looks like, you're probably gonna see it. But if I just put this on for like some pictures, and had it in there, I don't think you could tell. And if I put a little bit of powder or dry shampoo over that wire, you would not see the shine. So here's what it looks like kind of together. And it, yeah, it looks like I have just like a, obviously a shorter layer but I do have other clip-ins that I could kind of even out those layers with. But for photos or just, you know, filming purposes, if I put this on, I don't know that you're gonna clock it. I don't. And also with freshly washed hair. I mean, just like this, are we really, you know, if you didn't know it was there, would you see it? Maybe if I move this back a little bit, more towards the crown. That way it doesn't look like a headband and kind of brush that down. I don't hate it. And for this price point, of course I'll have everything posted here. You can't beat it, honestly. So first one, 
the more I fiddle with it, obviously the more it'll look natural, but I'm saying it's an A. Everyone tells me that I would look really good with bangs. I beg to differ. Um, I like wigs with bangs, but my hair is just too thin and fine to really pull off bangs. So I decided maybe a clip-on piece would be a good solution. So this is the one I got. Again, the color is, I mean, my hair is just black, so it's pretty easy to find a color match. But this is the piece here. I have never put in a clip-in bang. I feel like I need to do a middle part. So let's just do that first. And this one does have some like longer side pieces. So it should blend with how my hair is cut. The nice part is with the clip-in is you can kind of pick how far back you want it, catch the hair and then just clip it on. See, I might need to move this down right there that looks better right okay so with my natural hair these are the bangs I don't know how I feel about these like I like them but they're just it's weird to see myself with bangs I haven't had them since I was a very small child I think I grew them out in like sixth or seventh grade Okay, bangs. Here they are with that other long piece. If you put them together, I feel like it would be very Cher esque. You know, I don't hate the way they look, but again, my hair would not look like this if I actually had bangs. So that's why we spend a couple bucks instead of hundreds of dollars to get them cut and hate them forever. These ones, if you start to not like them, you just take them out. Next piece is probably the one I'm most excited about for that's not a wig. Um, I got this clip on ponytail. Um, I'm actually hoping to wear this this weekend. So hopefully this works out. There is like a drawstring net in here that I think you're supposed to put your natural hair into. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm just gonna pull this all back and up like I'm putting it in a ponytail like that and then open it and get that clip over top of it all right there we go I think that's how it's supposed to be maybe a little bit hold on I think I need a real ponytail holder so I put my natural hair in a bun and then put the ponytail in so it looks like I may need a couple bobbies just to hold it down the net or just get a like flatter base which I can do but for a trial run this so pretty like princess jasmine love this to death I don't know if you guys can see the top for me, the biggest thing is my hair always falls because it is thin. So getting that volume where it kind of sits up on top like this is not usually attainable. So if I just pin the little part of my hair down and obviously even tighten up the drawstring part of it down here, I feel like I could pull it a little bit tighter. Um, and like, you know, took more of my time to like really get my hair in there and really get it in the clip. Like it's very secure and tight. And here it is. I mean, the match, the way it looks, again, just pinned down and kind of, you know, adjusted and floofed in certain ways for what I want it for on stage is like perfect where I can whip it around a little bit, I think this is gorgeous. And if I get to the point where I know that I can get it in here and make it look just more part of my hair, I will wear this piece often. Let's get into the wigs. That's why you're all really here, right? We're here for the wigs. 
So the first one caught my eye because it's gorgeous. I've never seen one like this. I have other gray and blue wigs, but not ones that are done in this way. So here it is. Let me just get the wig cap off. It's this gorgeous dip dye that goes into this like steely dark blue but the roots are also this color. So you have this like white blonde in the middle and there are bangs. It is just a synthetic hard front with three clips inside or three combs. So let's pop this on. I just realized I didn't put a wig cap on. Oh well. It didn't come with one, so you will need one if you don't already have them. And let me just pull this down. All right, so once you get it adjusted, and obviously if you have your hair pin curled, um, it's gonna lay a lot flatter. But here it is. I put my hairbrush somewhere and now I can't find it. Um, but the bangs, as with all my wigs, I have to adjust because they get in my eyes. So we'll play with that a little bit. There we go. Now I can see what I'm working with. Obviously without a wig cap on, it's gonna slide around a little bit. But here is the color. I think it's super fun. It's very, you know, you can cosplay with this. It's very Ice Princess. I would wear this on like a very snowy day with like a beanie and you would be like winter fairy, very like Tinkerbell, Pixie Hollow, um, like a character from that, like Periwinkle, I think is her name. Uh, but yeah, obviously the tag is still on, but this is what this one looks like. Next one is a black and white wig. It's a little bit shorter. Um, which I have a lot of really long wigs. They're hard to maintain. So a medium length one that is more the length of my hair is actually something I've been looking for. So that's why I got this one. Plus I really love the colors. Um, the gray and black. And it did come with a wig cap. So I do have that on. No combs in this one. But here it is is this one's kind of I mean obviously you know if I had my hair wig pinned the way I normally wear it um this one is definitely my style I love this kind of beachy wave and you know if this is flat it's obviously gonna lay a little bit different but the bangs aren't too heavy um they're not in my eyes at all and if this wig shifted and did expose you know some of my hair down here not so much up here because the gray but down here it wouldn't look any different um yeah I like this one this is one that I would definitely wear out uh it's a little shiny but not anything that I would say like healthy black hair doesn't look like um and honestly this is the style that I will be wearing when my hair starts to go gray um because why would I pay for it to go gray when naturally I am gonna go gray and I'm not I'm not gonna dye it when that does happen whenever that happens so yeah here's this one let me tuck this tag away so you guys can get the effect there we go yeah this is a very this is a very me look I like this one a lot last wig this one I haven't gotten a red or like you know ginger copper wig in a while uh, but this is just a long curly red wig. I don't have any like this that have this like block of blonde, which I really like. I mean, I had money pieces for a little bit. Um, so this is kind of giving me that without me having to dye my hair again. So here's this. This gives me Oh, this is giving me the fantasy that I was looking for. I very much like this. Again, it's shiny. A little dry shampoo will fix it. Um, but this wave is super pretty. 
I like the way the blonde is like it's a very good tone with the copper it's not too light and it's not too dark but let me just tuck the tag in for the price this one definitely meets what I would consider like the quality of it and you can see how long it is this one is definitely like a favorite I love these waves just very beachy light and loose like kind of like you slept in a braid and then with the bangs and everything else I think this one is a winner as well so favorites wise wigs is probably the black and white and the red and blonde and then the ponytail is obviously the winner for those hair pieces so now let's talk about the braiding hair let's talk the braiding hair obviously i'm not going to braid it in today i'm going to do a separate video on that but i did want to show you the bundles i got and how they came so it did come with a little hook um yeah it came okay that's supposed to be that way i was just making sure it wasn't broken this is a little hook so that if you're doing feed-in braids you can pull the hair through which is nice. I don't think it said that that came with that, but I'm glad I have it. And it comes with three bundles. So, come um, just rubber banded like this at the top and then braided down. Now, I have seen people just like chuck this into their hair like this. Like they'll just put it in a ponytail, have this big long braid, nothing to it. That's not what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to do dragon braids with mine. Um, so I'm going to, you know, clip all this off, separate this into like two or three sections, braid it into my hair, um, maybe do bubble braids or something. But that's what's happening with this. Um, but I just loved this color, this combination of colors. And with having three, I can do a lot of different things. I can put these into some of my wigs so I have kind of like a festival look for certain ones or just if I want to add a pop of color I can braid them in so after all of that I think I think that's everything like I said my code and my link will be up here if you guys have questions on any of the hair feel free to comment. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Of course, I do earn a little bit of money off of this. So if you go on Timu and order some of these wigs for yourself, I get a little money and all that money goes right back into my channel and buying products to review more of. So it's just a constant cycle. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.